Hey there, Stephen Peck from Loves to Travel. Thanks for checking out our videos heading into Disney World. Why? Well, <laughs> obvious reasons why, because we love Disney World. But uh, we're actually gonna have dinner at um, uh, um, um, Saratoga Springs. I, I couldn't remember where we were having dinner. Uh, Turf Club at Saratoga Springs. So we're going through the arches, the most magical place on earth. I love driving under these arches. I don't know why. It's just like so exciting when you drive under the arches. Yeah, they're doing a lot of construction here. They've been doing a lot of road construction for the last two years uh, because of the Disney 50th anniversary, uh, the uh, Magic Kingdom 50th anniversary. And right now you have to take a detour to get to Epcot. But this is actually the way we want to go to get to um, Saratoga Springs anyway. So I'm not worrying about what's in front because we're going to get off before all this up here. But I could always get off at this exit and go the back way, but I'm going to do the normal way to get to Saratoga Springs. I, I want to say if you've not checked out one of our videos before and you this is your first time, make sure you hit the subscribe button below. Also the bell notification button below because that'll get you notified when we put up future videos. Love for you to hit the like button too. So uh, just saying, yeah, the road is closed to get to Epcot and actually to get to the Magic Kingdom as well. Um, and they make you take a detour right now to get down there because the bridge is out down further. But uh, that's not where we're going. We're actually going to Saratoga Springs it's in the resort area. Um, on this road is not only uh, Saratoga Springs, but also Old Key West, where we're going. But if you hook a left up here at the light, that'll take you down to Port Orleans. And uh, what's the name of the other one, honey? Um, I think Riverside. Oh, uh, yeah, Riverside, this way. Um, also, the uh, uh, pet care is down that way. But we're going to go straight, and that's going to take us by Old Key West by the Lake Buena Vista Golf Course. I just want to mention the fact that we are not inside the park. No. So if you don't want to eat inside the park, this is an option all outside the park. And the reason why we like doing food outside the park is because it tends to be slightly cheaper mm -hmm. than inside the park. Yep. And the thing is too, also inside the park, you have to have park reservations uh, to get in the park to begin with. Well, there's Old Key West right there, by the way, we just passed it. Um, you have to have park reservations to get in the park and you also have to burn a ticket to get into the park just to eat in the park. So um, if you wanna have dinner at Disney and not pay parking or not pay uh, park tickets, uh, you can eat outside the park. You just have to make reservations and then you tell them at the front gate you have reservations for dinner. And I don't think you have to be staying on the grounds, do you? You do not, this is on some reservation. So we got parked and we're walking in to the Saratoga Springs Resort. And one of the nice things, always remember that in Florida, pedestrians always have the right of way, even when they don't have the right of way. And we're gonna walk right by the, this is the main pool, right honey? This is the pool, yes. So I'm gonna show you the map real quick because we're gonna walk right by the map. And the turf club is actually in the carriage house, which is the main. Right here. So that's where we're going right there, the carriage house. That's where we check in. And the pool is right next to that. There's a couple of pools here. I think there's three pools here, isn't there? Um, I know there's one right there. There's one where we are. There's one back here. And then there's one over here, right? So there's, yeah, there's three pools. Actually, it's four pools. I think there's one at Congress Park, too. Yeah. So each of the four areas, there's Congress Park, there's the paddock, there's... Um... No, Carousel does not have its own pool. Oh, Carousel does not have one? No. Okay. So we can't take... We're not going to do a picture video of the pool because there's tons of people in it right now. Yeah, it's packed. It is approximately 5 o'clock in the afternoon. And it's 95 here. Yes. So there are a lot of people in the pool. So, but that's the pool area right next to us. And they actually have a, um, I guess this is a show hall next door here where they do um, like uh, high school bands and high school concerts and so on and so forth um, in there as well. Yeah, so here's the quick service. It's Artist Palette. Now, if you've been on a Disney cruise ship, they have a restaurant on the one that we went on years and years ago. Um, called the Artist Palette as well. And that actually had the TVs on the tables with interactive. 
So the quick serve is artist palette. That's where you can do some quick serve, and they do have a lot of a lot of varieties in here. But where we're going is we're going to the Turf Club Bar and Grill. This is reopened up recently because mm -hmm. it was closed down, and I think the last time we were here was almost what three years ago. It's been a long time, and you did beat someone in pool. Let's see if the pool table is here. We're well, I want to see the menu real quick. Here's the menu. So I actually have a paper menu. So French onion soup, chopped salad, charcuterie for two, grilled artichokes. How do you pronounce that? Frito Misto? Frito Misto? New York cider braised mussels. Those are your appetizers. I know what I'm getting. I'm getting the prime rib honey. Uh, for thirty-six bucks, that thirty-six dollars, that's really not that bad considering the price of meat right now. No, no. Uh, they have pan-seared uh, salmon, uh, grilled pork chop, braised lamb, whatever that's pronounced. I might have to ask and see how that's pronounced. Of it. How do you pronounce that braised lamb thing? Tagliatelle. Tagliatelle. Yes. I got it right. Tagliatelle. Oh wow. They've also got uh, grilled filet mignon. Carrot, carrot filled what? Ang, egg nolte. Egg nolte. Egg nolte. Egg nolte. Egg nolte. And then they also have uh, crispy boneless chicken. So there's your paper menu. I ended up getting the mussels as my dinner. Okay. And then you end up getting. Of course, the prime rib, knowing you. Yeah, and I got the chopped salad. We're going to split the chopped salad, right? Right. So we'll split the chopped salad. I got the prime rib. You got the uh, New York cider braised mussels. Garlic, chorizo, fennel, Fresno chili, apple cider, grilled baguette. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's 18 bucks. Right. So you got that. You're going to have that as a dinner. Right. Um, and then you're going to have a couple of bites of my prime rib. Right. So, all right, that's dinner. I, I think you're no, I think you're extremely happy right now. Well, I asked for a glass of wine. I have not asked for wine because I couldn't get Moscato. I guess there's a shortage, like everything else in the world. Mm -hmm. But also, you would be happy because guess what, King? Ah, uh, yes. Look at this. So coming with your dinner, you get. Did a rolls, mm -hmm. and they actually did the right portion because Steve does eat two, and I do eat one. And what did he say? What this was? Lava salt. That black on there is actually lava salt. So, ooh, they're warm too, honey. Is it? Yeah, they are warm. I'm gonna take one of these rolls. I think they have. Are they have like cheddar on top? We'll find out in a minute. Take a little bit of this and see what it tastes like. That is cheese, by the way. Is it cheddar? I think it's cheddar cheese, yeah. That's pretty good, actually. Can, you, can I see it? Mm -hmm. Oh, is it like um, just bread? Mm -hmm. Like bread rolls? Mm -hmm. So that's the one thing he loves is warm dinner rolls. Oh, yeah. I love, I love warm dinner rolls. So, uh, But it's lava salt, and it's actually really good. So go ahead and try it, honey. The one thing I didn't ask for, I normally ask for it without blue cheese. But we're going to split it anyway, and you do like blue cheese, right, honey? Mm-hmm. What kind of salad was it? It's supposed to be just a chopped salad, and that's what it looks like. So, well, we're going to try it and see what we like. Oh, my wine's here. Hold on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So here's my wine. <laughs> I have a glass of wine. You have your wine? Enjoy. So this is a chopped salad. I'm not a big fan of blue cheese, so I'm going to try and eat around the blue cheese a little bit, but I want to see how good this is. Mmm. That dressing is really good. So this looks like it has, um, is that pepperoni? Mm-hmm. And then... Pepperoni, it's got a little bit of bacon on there. And there's red cabbage in there. Mm -hmm. You call this usually a wheat salad. <laughs> 
No, this is not a wheat salad because it's all no, iceberg lettuce. Oh, is it? Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is soaked in an angry orchard apple cider, and this is, these are mussels. Mm -hmm. And that's what they are. And then there is a piece of bread here. It's a baguette. A baguette. A baguette. A baguette. And okay. I, I've got the prime rib that is a cabernet au jus, so a wine au jus. But it also comes with a vegetable and potato medley that goes along with it. Well, that's broccolini, which I know you really, really I love. will not be eating broccolini, but I'll eat the carrots and I'll eat the potatoes. But the broccolini? The broccolini? Oh, I'll probably end up eating the broccolini. Broccolini is no way I'm eating. Oh, yes, you are. No, I want. Do you want to try your muscles? I could try my muscles, yes. So they actually gave me a side plate also. Mm -hmm. The side plate for me to put all my shells in. Right. Um, like I said, I did this as a main meal. Because I really like mussels and clams. Yeah, even though this is an appetizer on their mm -hmm. menu, you're having it as a main meal. Yes, and you know, there's some tricks that you can do to save a little bit of money. It's usually do your appetizer as your meal or do a kid's meal if you don't eat that much. Like I said, I don't eat a lot of items since I'm watching my food and my calories and just watching. But we're on vacation. I know, but but this is a mussel. Let's see. Mmm. Ooh. I know that Andy loves Angry Orchard wow, hard cider. That's really good. There's, there's just a touch of sweetness in this. I bet you I know who would love that. Who? A Andrew. Andrew. Because he likes mussel. He likes all kinds of yes. fish and he loves Angry Orchard. Yes. And it's covered with, um, if you actually see it, there is. Take a good look at that. It's really, really good. If you can get it off of there. Yeah. Mm. And you're supposed to put these off to the side. Right, and you're supposed to dip, so you know you're supposed to dip the baguette, the baguette in the, into in the, the sauce. The, yeah. And then after you dip the baguette into the sauce. Mm. Ooh. Like I said, there's such a touch of sweetness in it, that's really good. And of course, look at his prime rib. It is, isn't it? Oh, did you just shake it? The plate was stuck to the table. Oh, this is just gorgeous. Look at that. I got it medium rare, just so you know. Because it's, a, what is that, a 10 ounce prime rib? Uh, it looks like a 10 or 12 ounce. Mm. How is it? That is amazingly good. So how does it compare to Old Key West? Because I know we went to Old Key West Olivia's. How does that one compare to it? Well, Olivia's didn't have the the Cabernet au jus. It just had a regular au jus. This one's got a little bit of a wine, the Cabernet au jus, so it's a little bit better. So if you want to take a look at our Olivia's um, review, mm. I'll link it here to this video. Let me try the potatoes and the carrots real quick. Mm -hmm. Potatoes are good. No, I'm not, I'm not going to be eating the... Broccolini? broccolini? No. You sure eat the broccolini? No, it's I'm not eating. It's healthier for you, sweetie. I'm not eating the broccolini. As you can tell, he only eats certain vegetables. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Look at that. Mm -hmm. And this is $36, so you know, and that does come with the rolls. This is currently at the time of filming. So how is it? Well, it's almost gone. I left you some prime rib, by the way. And you left me the broccolini, I see. I also left you a carrot and a potato to oh, try so you can taste how them. How generous of you. This was really, really good. I could tell. By the way, they came by, I didn't, they came, service was so good here. It was amazingly quick. We didn't finish our salad, but they told us that the lettuce came from the land at Epcot. So I did not know that. Oh, I was driving, oh, well, that, that ride, that boat ride? Yeah, by the Finding Nemo. Yeah, um, all, and it's grown by hydroponics for yeah. the most part. It's all hydroponics. Mm -hmm. And so the lettuce um, actually came from the land. So it was uh, homegrown right here on property. And, and she did mention some names, but you know, we can't pronounce uh, half these names. <laughs> There's three different kinds of lettuce in there besides iceberg. Right. So. And she did pronounce, I couldn't pronounce it, so I'm not even going to try. So, all right, you can try the prime rib now. So I'll let you eat your prime rib and we'll come right back, all right? All right, we switch plates. Yeah, so I, like I said, we share meals, and since he won't eat his broccoli or broccolini, I will. Right. Because I actually like broccolini. I'm not a big fan of broccoli. Mmm. Good. 
Looks like we made a dent, sweetie. Yeah, we're going to take the rest of that prime rib back to the room. Uh, you'll nosh on that. We, you've polished off the muscles. I ate about as much of the salad as I can take because I am not a fan of blue cheese. I really am not. I just don't like the taste of blue cheese. But it was a really good salad other than that. And again, when you told me that the lettuce came from property on the land that was grown here over at Epcot, that just surprised me. So really good stuff. Guess what we got? Oh my gosh, look at this thing. Look at this. This is incredible. Isn't this, like they said, the 50th anniversary dessert, this is the black and white? All different kinds of chocolate. White chocolate, cocoa, uh, dark chocolate, chocolate dust, all different kinds. And then watch your fingers because that's actually chocolate. <gasps> oh, I got it on my fingers. Oh. Yes, you did. This is, this is, I, I can't wait to delve into this. It's a piece of art, too. It is a piece of art. It really yeah. is a piece. I almost don't want to eat it. Enjoy. Thank you. And that's the one thing I didn't expect. This is like, look at the, look at the chocolate underneath it. And I was, I was telling the waiter just a couple of minutes ago, he asked me, you know, what the experience was here. And to be honest, I would put the experience here and the food here on par with California Grill, which is on top of the Contemporary really? Cafe. I really would. The food was incredible. The presentation is incredible. The service is incredible, and the pricing a lot less. A lot less than California I just hope Grill. Raise the price. So um, we're going to enjoy this, and uh, we'll talk to you here in a couple of minutes. So we're going to wrap it up here at the uh, the Turf Club, the Bar and Grill here at Saratoga Springs, the Carriage House. Amazingly good food. Amazingly good food. Amazingly good wait staff. By the way, we had a great waiter. The manager came by to the table three or four times just to make sure everything was good. I highly recommend this place if you're going to come to Disney uh, and have at least one meal here and just try it and see if you like it. Thanks for watching the video. Hopefully we give you some ideas of where to eat when you come to Disney. This is one of the places we recommend highly. Um, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out our videos. We've got more coming up from Disney so you can check those out. If you've not subscribed to our channel, please do so right now. Hit that. Uh, notification button below as well because that'll get you notified when we put up future videos love for you to hit the like button too. that does help us out immensely thanks for watching great dinner here you can have it one two just come by when you come to disney go to the turf club highly recommended thanks for watching and have a magical day